Do you sometimes go on a flight and you think, how does the airline get away with this behavior? Isn't there nobody to hold them responsible? Well, here I am flying Uzbekistan's brand new Airbus A321neo. And while I experienced a lot of things I enjoyed, I was equally shocked that the airline was literally paying zero attention to cabin safety. So join me on a trip from Bangkok all the way to Tashkent and beyond. My trip started on an early morning at Bangkok Suranaboom Airport and a one-way business class ticket came at a price of 800 US dollars. The check-in experience was very smooth and the staff was very lovely. They also told me that only three passengers were booked in business class and that most likely I won't have a seat neighbor. So let's go! So all checked in for the Uzbekistan uh, business class experience, now let's head to the lounge. As a business class traveler on Uzbekistan Airways, you get access to the Miracle Lounge, which I have visited a few times and have a very solid food offering as well as beverages. It's spacious, comfortable, and it doesn't get too busy in the morning. So there's literally no better way to start off today with a good uh, chicken noodle soup. So far, absolute smooth experience. And until now, I had hundreds of departures out of Bangkok. I never knew that they have a fast track always learning something new. Now let's dig in. And here's our plane, one of five new Airbus A221LRs the airline received recently. This one was delivered on Valentine's Day in 2022. Uzbekistan Airways offers three weekly flights between Tashkent and Bangkok. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hello. Welcome on board business class featuring 16 recliner seats in a 2-2 configuration. So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board Uzbekistan's brand new Airbus 321LR. For first impression, looks rather basic, so there's no inbuilt um, entertainment screen. Perhaps they're, they're a streaming service because I saw that there was a Wi-Fi connection. Um, amenity kits and slippers at my seat already. Flight isn't too full either. And uh, yeah, um, heading to the run right now. Also, let me give you a quick little seat tour. As mentioned, it's a very basic setup with no built-in in-flight entertainment and a regular recline. It also features a table in your armrest as well as a universal power outlet. Also, a pillow and a blanket were already ready at my seat. We then pushed back for our six-hour flight to Tashkent and the crew came by to take the food orders as well. However, given the price tag, there was no hot towels or pre-departure beverages. Crew is also pretty lovely for um, Uzbekistan standards. Still remember my flight in 2019 <laughs> when the crew was very strict on me. Then on 2020 or 2021, I flew Novnov again. They were like warming up to me, no issues with cameras and such. And uh, on today's flight, they're very lovely um, as well. There's three passengers here in business class, as well as a little dog right there. Very cute. Um, yeah. Everybody who has been following me for a while knows how much I advocate cabin safety. Rightfully so, I believe, but unfortunately the crew never came around to secure the cabin for takeoff, which you can see in this clip. We're climbing out of Bangkok and the passenger in front of me has her chunky iPad on the middle console, totally unsecured, as well as the dead heading captain is fully reclined and has his window shades down, and that's simply not how you do it. That's your responsibility as a crew. And trust me, it got even worse for landing. So as much as I like the crew and as nice as they are, they never came to secure the cabin. Um, we're still climbing out of um, 
Bangkok, seatbelt sign is still on. The passenger in front of me, fully reclined, never put her seatbelt on, has her massive iPad on the middle console. So in case of an aborted takeoff, that iPad would fly through the cabin, can seriously harm other passengers. Also the dead heading crew um, on the other aisle, also fully uh, reclined, headphones on, window shades shut so this is literally like not how it's supposed to be and i know cabin is all cabin crew is always quick to comment saying are we here for your safety uh that's our number one priority but here in this case absolutely neglected and that is uh, a safety hazard to everyone traveling in this cabin. So I hope somebody from Uzbekistan Airways takes notice of this and does educate the crew on their duties. And I'm sure you guys agree they shouldn't be neglecting that. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. The individual in front of me is some Russian uh, influencer, fake lips, fake tits. Uh, the whole thing zero consideration for anybody else is listening to some music on her phone not using her headphones and the best of it she was literally streaming on TikTok during takeoff until obviously there was no reception anymore but like absolutely inconsiderate reclined her seats uh, during takeoff uh, what do you guys think about this let me know in the comment section below So, but before you judge me and point fingers at me um, for saying, oh, Josh, but you sit in the airplane, you speak into a camera all of the time. Um, no, this is a six hour flight. Probably out of the six hours, I'll be speaking into the camera for like four or five minutes max. And because I'm using this left mic, you could literally not hear me. Even if you sit next to me, you would not be able to hear me. That's why I brought this left mic to be considerate and to not bother anyone uh, yeah, chatting into the camera. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> An hour into the flight, lunch was served and I was given a salmon with potato wedges and a salad with bread. The food quality was pretty decent and I happened to finish it all. Afterwards, I was offered a tiramisu which was okay as well as a coffee. And that concludes the lunch offering. In terms of in-flight entertainment, you can connect to the in-flight Wi-Fi which features a limited choice of movies and documentaries as well as a flight map. However, the plane doesn't offer any internet. I ended up watching a documentary of Sir Alex Ferguson, the former coach of Manchester United. So guys, and here we are from inside the loo. Looks very nice, very clean, what you would, exactly what you would expect from a plane that has barely been in service for a year. Uh, the crazy influencer has calmed down a little bit. I think she is uh, 12 champagnes into the flight. so. She pretty much passed out, which is also good. And then, uh, yeah, cabin is pitch dark. Um, there's five pilots, I think, sitting uh, in uh, the business class cabin, as well as all the crew. Um, but that's pretty much a thing from the former Soviet Union, because back then pilots were considered gods. So they still have tremendous privileges when traveling uh, with the airline. So they decide where they want to sit, when they're going to eat, and what they're gonna eat um, yeah don't know where they all come from I think one guy might be the engineer but the other four are pilots so don't know why you need so much of them because the crew boarded with us in Bangkok which suggested that they had a layover there I think for that price tag 850 they aren't offering that much um, and I think if you get a 320 LR which goes long distances up to eight hours it's probably better to invest in it to a nicer seat because it's very basic very standard but yeah that's it i will take you through the transit experience as well because we'll be flying air astana as well uh to almaty I have a very tight connection hope i can make it but uh yeah so far it's all right Let's also have a quick look at the amenity kit which features all the goodies you might need for a short trip like this
We then flew along the Afghan border for a bit with some stunning views over the Hindu Kush. We even entered the airspace for a short while, which made me miss the good old times in Afghanistan. Prior landing, the crew would serve coffee once again and a rather not so appetizing tuna sandwich. We then started our descent at the Tashkent, and once again the crew would never come to secure the cabin. The captain left his back on the seat, the passenger behind me decided to take her suitcase out of the overhead bin to use it as a footrest, and the drunk Russian TikTok star was too drunk to probably even realize that she was on an airplane and left her stuff once again on the middle console. Especially the captain should serve as a role model, but apparently not on Uzbekistan Airways. Just in case the landing really goes wrong, these items will become a safety hazard and an obstacle in your way to the emergency exits. So please, if you're a cabin crew watching, never neglect cabin safety. Thank you very much. We then taxied past all these Soviet beauties, which I believe are still in service. I'd love to fly on an Yushin 76 one day, so if you know anyone who can help me with that, please get in touch. I was also able to witness Uzbek Special Forces train anti-terrorist operations on the stunning Tupolev 154. We got a remote gate and I was quite certain that I would make my connecting flight to Almaty on Air Astana. As a business class passenger, you get your own transportation. And of course, our TikTok superstar would give us one last show before parting ways forever. I would then proceed through customs and made my way to the departure hall to catch my flight on Air Stana's Airbus A220 Neo to Almaty. So I made my connection, now let's board Air Astana's 320 Neo to Almaty. But before we go on the second flight of the day, let me give you a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, a must-have tool for any traveler and frequent flyer. By using a VPN, you surf the internet safe and anonymously, especially when using public Wi-Fi. And you get around censorship all around the world. Whether you want to use Instagram in China, use WhatsApp calls in Dubai, or consume TikTok in India. Or watch adult movies in the Middle East. And it also works on all your devices. But let me show you my favorite pack. Finding cheaper flight deals by changing my IP address to a low-income country, saving me plenty of dollars every year. But also, as a huge sport fan, I can watch my favorite football team from all around the world or access different libraries on Netflix by using Surfshark VPN. So guys, I have amazing news for you because this November Surfshark has great Black Friday deals. So instead of three additional months for free, you will get six by using the code Josh Cahill or using the link in the description box below. So get your hands on it before it expires. Now let's go back to the review. And this is our ride today, one of five Airbus A320 Neos of Air Astana taking me to Kazakhstan. The plane has been delivered to the airline four years ago, replacing their aging 320 CEOs and the 757. But now let's get on board. And here we are, welcome on board Air Astana's regional business class featuring 16 recliner seats in a 2-2 configuration. Considering that this flight was a fraction of what I paid on Uzbekistan Airways and it only takes 80 minutes, I was still offered a pre-departure beverage as well as a hot towel. So well done Air Astana!
The seats are spacious and comfortable. They feature personal entertainment as well as a universal power outlet. And overall, it's a very lovely product. So let's go to Almaty. We then pushed back, menus were handed out and we made our way to the runway for an on-time departure. Pops right now is also a great opportunity to check out my Patreon page for some extra cool perks such as early access to my videos, to join my WhatsApp group or have your name in the credits. Thanks a lot. Right after takeoff, the crew got to work and since I was still full from my lunch I had on Uzbekistan Airways, I decided to only have a coffee. The crew was super lovely with a huge smile on their face. But that's my standard experience on Airstana and hence it's one of my favorite airlines. I also had a look at the loo and I was very happy to see some real nice amenity there, including my all-time favorite facial mist. Thumbs up! We then started our descent into Almaty and I want you guys to stay with me until I reach the hotel for my final summary of today's experience. Because I do have some really important things to say and I really want to hear your opinion on these matters as well. Once again today, I was blessed with a remote gate and I also got a glimpse of Scott 737 Max which I'm going to fly tomorrow, so hit that subscribe button right now if you don't want to miss out on that review either. On my way to the arrivals area, I got to see the new international terminal of Almaty which is going to open very soon, because in all honesty, Almaty is a terrible, terrible airport, especially if you depart. I cleared immigration, collected my bag and chained some leftover Chinese yuan that I found in my pocket. Afterwards, I took a taxi to my hotel, which was named after the country itself. Thank you very much. Alright, all checked in at the Hotel Kazakhstan. I always get confused when people use German because I've never really lived in Germany and uh, to switch from English to German is so difficult and I don't have the vocabulary for hotel check-ins and because I always do that in English so my brain explodes. But uh, the guy was very eager to check in because he studied in Germany apparently so my German passport was like Let's speak German with him. It is working. Uh, oops. Cute a little corner room. And uh, we do have a very, very beautiful view of uh, the TV tower. And I saw an advert, um, the 14th tallest TV tower in the world. What an accomplishment. Um, this is it for today. Um, I flew two airlines today. So it was Uzbekistan Airways for the price tag. Uh, I don't know, below average, I'd say. And also, it is like, and I was just like going through a comment today and I got a comment from a cabin crew saying, um, very pissy comment saying, are we all about safety? That's the only thing. Anything else is an extra. Yeah, okay, then give it to me. And as I said, like, so like, there was none uh, today. And um, yeah, that is um, quite of a letdown because cabin safety is very important. And uh, there was 
zero. Um, food was great though. Food was really nice. The crew was too bad, you know? They were nice. And I hate when I have to throw them under the bus, but this is like, it's what they do, right? This is their job, you know? And they are jeopardizing lives by neglecting those duties, right? And if I'm then the bad guy calling them out and then people say, oh, Josh, you're so mean. No, I'm not. Like, this is it. Like, if really something happens, let's have an aborted takeoff and all those loose items fly through the cabin. They can kill you. Literally, I've seen videos and I have crew telling me these things, how important that is. So what am I supposed to do, right? That's my job. You have your job. It's, you can never win anyways in those situations, you know, but what I know is when I publish those videos, a lot of things are happening behind the scenes where like really the departments are reminding the crew of what is important in your job and that you have to carry it out 100%, you know, so I take the blame. You can't be everybody's darling, but I know how much things are always happening behind the scenes and how many changes are happening when uh, when these videos are published, right? It is what it is. Um, yeah, this is it, guys. Um, also, if you want to access some extra perks, such as become a member of my WhatsApp group, it's really cool. Uh, I have the Cahill keyring which looks really cool on your carry-on. I uh, have early access to my videos or your name in the credits. Um, check out the link in the description box below. We are over 400 members already, a, a beautiful little a Patreon family. So grateful for everyone who is uh, supporting um, this channel. Um, yeah, but uh, other than that, let me know in the comment section below what you think about today's flight. And tomorrow I'll be flying Scott. Scott Airlines, Noel Phillips' favorite airline, from here to Aktau, I think it's called Aktau, the lowest uh, commercial and altitude uh, airport in the world, minus 22 meters or something like that. And there's a big party going on outside, which I perhaps join, well, probably not. Probably just gonna catch up on some sleep. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll be off to have a safe trip.